Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a stem and leaf plot, and it shows the number of laps around a track that several teams walked as part of a fundraiser. So the teams that walk more than 50 raise an extra $100. What fraction of the team raised this extra money? All right, so this extra money refers to this extra $100. Who got that $100? Those that walked more than 50. So we can put a greater than 50. And our answer needs to be in the form of a fraction. Okay, so let's check it out our stem and leaf plot. So always look for the key here. And so this key down at the bottom is going to let us know. It's just a bit pretty standard stem and leaf plot. So we've got the 3 and the bar and the 0, and that means 30, which means... Uh, this is acting as our tens place. Think of this as place value. This is acting as our ones place. It's not always going to be that easy. Sometimes it'll be decimals. Uh, sometimes we'll get into even fractions or something like that. But in this case, it's pretty easy. It's going to be tens and ones. So what does this actually mean? We'll take a look at this stem right here. So I'm going to take this stem of three and I'll bring it out here. This 3 and the 1 means I've got 31, kind of like that key down there. Then I've got three twos, and so I'm just going to repeat 32, 32, 32, and then 33. So the stem and leaf plot becomes important when you've got a whole bunch of numbers within a very tight range. So all of these 30s just became a lot easier because I just took that initial 3 off, put it over there in the stem. In the stem. All right, so my 4 stem is going to be 41 and 46. And you see how they're all lined up perfectly? kind of serves as a little bit of a bar graph as well. You can see which stem has the most, which one sticks out the farthest. All right, so we're getting to the part we need right here. So this is going to be 50 and 53. And you see I'm looking for greater than 50. And then my final stem is going to be 63, 63, and then 65. All right, so that's really what my stem and leaf plot means. I've got all those numbers. How many numbers do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I've got 12 numbers. I'm going to go ahead and write it like this. Because if I need a fraction, that means I'm going to need a numerator and a denominator. And my denominator is going to be my total. My numerator is going to be how many are greater than 50, right? So greater than 50. Now here's the question. I've got a 50 there. It doesn't say uh, 50 or more. It doesn't say at least 50. It says more than 50, which means I cannot include 50. So it's a greater than rather than a greater than or equal to. So these are the numbers that I can include, 53, 63, 63, and 65. Those are the teams that walked more than 50 laps. So there's four of them. So I'm all excited about four 12s, and I don't see my answer. But I know that I can simplify, so let's do that. If I can divide by a number that goes into both the numerator and denominator, right? Let me see, what's the number that goes into both? Well, 4 goes into both. And if I divide, divide by 4 over 4, that's just the same as dividing by 1, right? Because 4 fourths is just one whole. And anytime you multiply or divide a number by 1, you get the same thing. So I get the same thing. I'm just making it look different. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that's why learning your multiples is very important. And that's how we reduce. And our answer is right there. Jay.